What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Wolf Cryer here with a brand new segment on the channel I like to call Cool Gaming News. In these videos, I'm going to be looking through the latest gaming news and bringing you all the coolest of the cool. And we're going to start off with some news out of Amazon. It looks like Amazon will be launching a new service called Game On, which will essentially allow smaller game companies to offer tournaments and competitive leaderboards directly into their games on PC, console, and mobile devices using Amazon's AWS cloud infrastructure allowing these competitive games to offer in-game or real-world prizes with the latter being shipped directly from Amazon itself. Since Amazon purchased Twitch in 2014, its foothold in the gaming industry has only solidified and now it is poised to let smaller developers enter the ever-growing world of esports, built right into the games themselves. And I gotta say, that is pretty freaking cool. Next up, we're going to be talking about Epic Games. Is it possible that Epic Games is the coolest of all game companies out there right now? I mean, they already have the ultra successful and arguably number one or number two Battle Royale game out there right now. And are the creators of the Unreal Engine. But now, with the shutting down of Paragon in April, due to a dwindling player base and the outright success of Fortnite, where they've had to divert a lot of their attention, Epic Games has decided to release over $12 million worth of assets into the Unreal Engine marketplace for free. This will allow creators and developers the opportunity to utilize these characters, skins, voice lines, and some environment models in their own projects. I gotta say that since most gaming companies would just send all this stuff off to the dark corners and allow them to collect dust, this might be the coolest of the gaming news this week. And Epic Games also makes it into the next coolest gaming news of the week, as the Fortnite vs. Player Unknown Battlegrounds fight continues on mobile. Both of these top Battle Royale games are heading to the mobile scene, with full ports of the games expected to be brought over into the mobile gaming arena, where they can continue their rivalry. This is pretty freaking cool as both of these games have solid player bases and are the leaders in the battle royale genre. And now you will be able to play right from your phone. Now there are some differences in requirements as Fortnite is currently only playable on the iPhone 6S or higher and currently by invite only. While PUBG has a wider range of usable devices and is out right now. Now, as far as crossplay goes, it seems that as of now, PUBG does not offer crossplay with the PC, but Fortnite will be allowing mobile players to play with both PC players and console players only if they so desire, which is pretty cool because I'm not sure I'd want to play against a PC player if I'm on my phone. All in all, though, I gotta say that with the mobile gaming industry growing and growing and growing, it's very good to see that companies like this, with games like this, making the port over to these devices. But you can all tell me your thoughts down in that comment section below. I always love hearing from you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I always greatly appreciate it. And make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And today, I'm just going to leave you with the coolest game trailer I've seen this week. And I'll drop a link below so that you can all go check it out. You guys have a great day. Peace.